Hello, hello, my sunshines. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. I'm really happy you're here. I'm also really happy to be opening this box. There's a little story time. About eight weeks ago, I was supposed to open this box. It launched on Black Friday. I promoted it on all of my social media. So you probably saw it on Facebook and Instagram. I think I even put it over here on my YouTube community tab. And as I was about to slit the tape and film it, I got an email and they said, do not show the video we sold out of the box in record time um hold on to it because we're going to relaunch it in january we're trying to get our hands on all of the pieces and so i said okay now i suppose i could have gone ahead and filmed it however you know i started a new job we had christmas there was a lot going on in december so i decided to wait until january and here we are and i'm going to share what's in the decor steals everyday edition box so if you've been around for a while you have seen my decor steals unboxings and you know they're no joke you get a lot of stuff packed in one box as a matter of fact whoever packs these boxes wins in tetris every single time i'd love to have tea with them and like pick their brain a little bit um and they're a really good value you get a lot of bang for your buck for example the fall box we had an entire table inside of this box uh the christmas box we had an entire sled and a humongous christmas tree that was gorgeous inside of this box and what i love about decor steals is they don't play any games so i know one of the items in here technically there are seven boxes inside so seven items but one of the items in here has three pieces to it that you can do individually or put them together they count them as one item not three and i do appreciate that so this everyday box is meant to be opened put in your home and lived with every single day i think it's the perfect time to relaunch it because as we pull down our holiday decor, I know for me, my house feels a little sad. It feels a little empty. And I have a chance to look at some of the items in my house and think, gosh, I could use a little bit of a refresh. So this box is $149.99 and they charge $5 shipping. Now this box is about, I would guess, three feet long. It's huge. And it took myself and my husband to get it up the stairs. I mean, it is massive in size and in weight. So $5 to have it shipped is really, really great. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. I've actually pulled everything out. It's all pre-boxed. I haven't looked at anything. And we're going to look at it individually. But when you get the box and open it, I kind of did a little picture right here. It's got some black tissue over it. And then it's got a couple of pieces. This is their pamphlet. And inside it kind of shows you. You might have gotten. A, a little look at some of the pieces um how to style them and it gives you a little bit more information about each piece and then we have the steal it box envelope it says hello there and you can actually scan this qr code and it'll give you some more information about the box and then there's a little postcard that says don't count the days make the days count now I'm also going to show you a picture of the box when it was packed. So when you see everything that's inside this box, you will know what I mean about whoever packs it wins at Tetris every time because it's perfectly packed. All right, I'm going to set this aside. Just so you know, this is what it looks like when it comes in. And if you want this box, seriously, I don't try to give you the hard sale ever, but I do try to let you know the boxes that will not stick around. And this is one of them. They have very limited quantities. So the first thing I have is a little tiny box. It says, steal it. And we're gonna open it and see what is inside this baby. Oh my gosh, I think I said in another video that I wanted some of these, these chunky links. Ah. You're gonna see these in a decor area, probably the first of February, I'm working on something and I think these are gonna be perfect for the project. These are so popular, you put them over a box, you put them in a bowl, you put them over books. They're just an interesting kind of textural, architectural maybe, and textural <laughs> piece that adds interest. I really like the wood tone that they chose on those. So that was the first item, great everyday item. I think you could work that around your holiday items too. Okay, next we have this long, tall one, and this pretty much took up the whole length of the box. All right, it took me a minute to get the next piece open. It is this gorgeous black shelf. 
You can see the grain of the wood. It's very, very pretty. And I love that they gave us two ways that we can hang this on the wall. You can hang it on the wall as a true floating shelf just by placing some screws in the wall. Or if you wanna add like a little extra element, you've got these that just literally slide into the back. We'll slide one in and I'll show you. I think it goes like this. So it looks like that. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. I love that it's not too deep. If you've got an area that just needs a little tiny shelf. I love the color. You've got that guy. Okay, so that was number two. Number three is in this box. This one's kind of heavy also. Everything is packed really, really well with them. Um, it's the item that I was talking about that is a set of three where you can sprinkle it throughout your house or you can style it together. And they are stunning. It is a set of these three matte black candlesticks. Now they are long and they taper a little bit skinnier at the top. They have what I call a tulip. I don't know, it reminds me of the bottom of a tulip where you can put your candle in and then they get a little chunkier at the bottom. Y'all, these have some weight to them. I'm starting to see why this box was so heavy. So this is like the smallest size. Then we have the medium guy. And I love that they gave us a set of three for these because they say you should decorate in sets of three. But again, these are great every day for a mantle, a bookshelf, wherever you want an entryway. You could do a white or a cream candle, whatever matches your decor. But then for Easter, if you wanted to do something fun, a pastel for Easter, for 4th of July, you could do fall candles in the fall and red candles for Christmas next year. These are something that can stay out all the time. Okay, so here's the next one. And this one's very, very light in contrast to that last one. So let's see what's in here. Oh, we got some greenery. Look how pretty. It's kind of this branch. And I think it's just all one piece. Look at this bright, pretty green. It is, it's all one branch, but I think you can kind of pull it apart a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's very bendable. I don't wanna pull off any of the stems here. But something like that can make a huge statement in an entryway, wherever you want it to go, really. If you need a little height, this would be even pretty on a mantle next to a really beautiful picture. Put it in a little vase. I love the color of the green. Let me show you what the stems look like. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but they're stunning. And this actually looks pretty authentic. Sometimes when you get faux branches, they're like the wrong color brown and they just look fake and plasticky. These look really beautiful. Okay, but wait. There's more. We've got this guy. I love that they put decor steels on the front of every box. So I guess if you wanted to save an item and use it for a gift, you would be able to do that. All right, what's in here? This is something soft. Maybe a table runner? What could this be? Oh my goodness. It is the perfect everyday throw. You can throw this over your bed. You can throw this over your couch, over a chair. It's got these long, beautiful tassels. Oh my goodness. It's on the heavier side. So this is actually gonna keep you warm, but it's thin. Do you see? You can almost see through it. The weave on it is stunning. Look at that. It's kind of this creamy white. Wow, I'm surprised at how heavy it is. Um, and, and I say that in the best way possible because sometimes you'll get a little like thin blanket like this and it doesn't feel like you have anything and it's got the neatest texture. It's like slinky, silky, is that the word? Gosh, it's really pretty. Do you see the design on it? So they've got little like woven patterns across it which is so beautiful. 
Throw this over the back of your couch with a gorgeous accent pillow kind of in front of it. Everybody needs a beautiful, high quality. This is gorgeous. Throw. I'm actually shocked at how much I love this. Do you see the tassels? Oh, tassels just make me so happy. Okay, I gotta dig because I think the pile of empty boxes is covering the pile of full boxes. So hold on, let me go dig. All right, so here is our next box. This too has a little bit of weight to it. Oh, talk about textural. Look at this cutie, hello. It's a little skinny guy. Oh, this would be perfect on top of that floating shelf. I saw a picture online. I'm remembering now back when I was promoting the box. I'll put it here. And it had that little floating shelf above a mirror. And this was on top of it. Isn't this pretty? Except I have it upside down. <laughs> it looks like that. <sighs> It looks like something you get in an antique store and it's kind of, it looks chippy. Oh, I love it. I love the colors and I love how they do the brown tones with the black. So you get the warm tones of your house if your house is done more in like creams and beiges, but you get the black through it if your house is more um, cool toned with grays and blacks. I wonder if you could put this Yes, you could in here. How interesting is that? <gasps> okay, that is gorgeous. Next item is I think where most of the weight came from, although those candlesticks were really, really heavy. Y'all, I'm not in the upside down. This is not Stranger Things. Hold on. The second item I'm showing you upside down. It looks like this. It's real, real big and really, really heavy. And I do remember exactly what is in this box. It's very well wrapped, just so you know, in some styrofoam, which normally I don't love styrofoam, but when you see what's inside, you'll know that you want it to be preserved in shipping. So let me pull it out and show you what it is. It's gonna blow your socks off. So it is uh, in a set of two. It's this gorgeous black, I'm gonna call it cathedral mirror. I don't know if I'm saying it right, um, but I'm gonna move the camera because I don't think I'm gonna do it justice from where I'm sitting and give you a better look because it is chef's kiss perfection. All right, so here is the mirror. It, like I said, it's a set of two and the two white pieces in front of it are just pieces that usually sit on here. I was trying to give you a little perspective as to what you will see. Isn't it so beautiful? I am in love. And I saw it styled with uh, the floating shelf under it and on the floating shelf was the vase and I'll show you a picture of what that looks like next. And there you have it, so much bang for your buck. Those mirrors are beautiful in that they're so simple, but it just takes it up a notch with the window painting and that arch. I think it would be gorgeous above a mantle if you've got a whitewash mantle or a simple cabinet or console in your entryway, could just take it up a notch. Pair them with that gorgeous set of candle holders stunning. But in addition to that, we got that gorgeous vase with so much texture, that beautiful branch with that pop of green. I like that's really only the color that we got is that bright pop of spring green, which is going to look great all through spring and summer. But you can pair a branch of fall leaves in the fall or red berries in the winter. Um, the links just add a little bit of charm and texture. The blanket, which is so silky, I can't put my finger on what it's made out of, but it feels like it's going to be really durable, but soft at the same time, as well as that shelf. And what did you think of that picture with the mirror and the shelf and the uh, vase? Perfection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family, and I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.